Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome uh, to Senate House and to uh, the event that we're holding today on saving ancient treasures for the world. Um, I'm here to welcome you on behalf of the Hellenic and Roman societies uh, who are hosting this event. I am the president of the Roman Society. Um, and I think I need just to uh, mention a few changes to the program, which you may have noticed if you compare the sheet you've got in front of you with what was previously advertised. Um, the chair and respondent for the first session will be my colleague uh, Andrew Burnett from the British Museum, because uh, Jonathan Tubb has unfortunately had to attend a funeral today. And our first speaker, uh, Isam Al-Hajjar, uh, was unable to come, and his place has been taken by his colleague, uh, Karen Pitt, um, who's also from the Syrian Heritage Archive project in Berlin. We're very grateful to her for coming such a long distance at short notice. Um, I would also just mention the fact that the Hellenic and Roman societies that are hosting this event have uh, tables with literature and so on. We hope that you will take a, uh, the opportunity to have a look at this literature and if you're not a member of either the Hellenic or Roman society, I hope you will consider becoming one. Um, you can join uh, with no difficulty at all and uh, the payment of a subscription which I suspect is uh, something of a bargain that's as low as you'd have to pay for to join almost any club or society and the Hellenic and Roman societies offer you I think uh, a substantial bargain um, particularly access to the Hellenic and Roman library as we now call it on the third floor of this building uh, which is one of without doubt the finest classical libraries in the world um, but <laughs> In order to keep this going, we are having a fundraising campaign, and if you would like to donate to that, there is also um, some literature uh, there uh, about the campaign and why we think it's very important that that should be supported. Um, I would also say that today, uh, outside the library, which is on the third floor, as I've said, um, there is actually an exhibition of um, uh, work... Um, illustrations and books uh, by, uh, is it Robert Wood? Um, anyway, the Wood exhibition, I try to remember that I've got his first name right, but a 19th century traveller who went to Palmyra and wrote extensive accounts of his visit to Palmyra and other sites in Syria were so very relevant to what uh, we're talking about today. And uh, that exhibition is there for you to go and look at during our breaks. OK, I'll now move on to the important business of today, the subject of saving ancient treasures for the world. Um, as we know, the archaeological heritage of the world uh, is facing a series of unprecedented threats, um, which I think can be summarised under four headings. First of all, uh, environmental damage. Um, the fact that wherever there are marble uh, or limestone, buildings or whatever, it can rain acid onto them, which literally dissolves them, uh, among other environmental threats that I needn't go into. Um, secondly, urban growth and the spread of 21st century uh, technological infrastructure, uh, mechanised agriculture and all the other things that can actually serve to um, destroy uh, the ancient landscape and ancient archaeological sites. Um, just in order to enable us to live in a 21st century manner. Thirdly, and uh, most ominously, of course, war and conflict um, in uh, many areas of the world where uh, important archaeological treasures exist, or we hope will continue to exist, but are under serious threat in a situation which, as we unfortunately know, has become literally a matter of life and death. And finally, uh, criminal activity, um, both at a petty level and at an organised level, um, which uh, can become uh, lead to the despoliation of archaeological sites and artefacts. And it's necessary to protect both the sites and artefacts themselves and 
the institutions, the museums, and the collectors who legitimately try to preserve them and uh, to uh, acquire them. So uh, with that said, I will hand over to the chairman for the first session, Andrew Burnett, who will get us going. Thank you very much.